How's up, everyone? It's your boys, Seven Hobos! Today, joining me will be my buddy Burke, and we're going to be talking about the wonderful seven new weapon refinery that we just got. Ready to begin? Do this. All right, okay. So the first hero we're going to go down from the list is Ogma. Now, Ogma is pretty cool. He's got this thing where attack, if his attack is bigger than foe's attack, so he's got heavy blade, so you get an extra cooldown charge. And if unit is within two spaces of a flying or infantry ally, you get attack and speed plus four during combat. In other words, hey, if Bars is nearby or Al Qaeda is nearby, all of a sudden I'm much stronger now, and I will tear you to shreds. What do you think about this wonderful blade beyond what I've just said? It is a very good forge. I think it's one of the better ones. Um, Ogma has a very good offensive stat spread, so while the, you know, two spaces of the entry or flying thing is boring, when you add another attack and speed plus four to him, his stat spread for offense is fantastic. Um, you're obviously going to want to go plus attack to trigger the heavy blade effect better, but if you go plus attack and this thing's active, his attack's going to be way, way up there into the mid-60s easily. Um, this is a very, a very good forge. And he's going to, he already was strong. I think he was a little slept on, but yeah, he's, he's going to be very good. Probably going to be around the damage output of someone like a Raven. Hmm. I recommend using something like Draconic Aura or three charge attacks. Probably Draconic Aura over a Bonfire. His defense is pretty high, but I think his attack is higher ratio still. I think so too, because especially if you want to run with a life and death, build if you want like me if you want nine res on your agma uh <laughs> then res. yeah but um yeah definitely a three charge special i think dragonic aura is fantastic mm, definitely after you hit you take a hit and then the next hit is a draconic aura boosted with all those wonderful buffs and you rip their face clean off but yeah, that's pretty much yeah. it about Ogma. He's I thought it would be a I little mean, more interesting, but I mean, it's still very interesting. It makes him my more Ogma deadly. My with the Wodao is has 58 attack, and he's a plus speed. So you're talking 61. Uh, you add in the four if he's near flyer infantry, you're talking 65. You add him a seal, you're talking 68. So he is going to be able to trigger that heavy blade. Yeah, he's he's go like. It's attack speed four, and it's not life and death, but he, he's going to be very similar to like being a red raven um, with a lot less res, basically. Yeah, but raven has a lot less of everything. <laughs> I think this man, this man can still handle himself. Not to mention his arms. He, yeah, he's got more HP as well. He's got a lot of HP. This Rated. dude is dude is beastly. I'm kind of sad. I'm going to be losing two HP to be honest. Oh right, because of that. Whatever, dude. 2 HP. I was just looking at the weapon, the fact that it gives 3 HP, but I mean... Alright, how much HP does he have with plus 10? 56. That's with, uh, And with that minus 2, he'll be at 54. That's still pretty considerable. Yep. It's still good, yeah. yeah. But anyway, so that's about it for Agma. A very powerful frontliner that will dish out the pain if he gets his hands on you. Now, let's go with the second weapon. For Navra, he gets Scarlet Sword. Now, Scarlet Sword is pretty funny. It accelerates special trigger, and at the start of a turn one, gets a special cooldown count minus two. So this man already has infantry pulse pretty much built into his weapon, well, without worrying about other infantry. And if he were to, say, have other infantry providing him with more pulse, he can dish out a lot of damage, at the well, in turn one. Still, a lot of fights, I believe, are settled within, like, the first few turns. I mean, it's, this thing is really straightforward, but you got anything else you want to add to this? You, can you think of something else that this weapon might provide that I haven't I thought of? I do, because I think this is one of the more challenging ones to um, evaluate, mainly because of the units on. If you just look rawly at the weapon, this is a very, very good forge. You're talking not just quick impulse, quick impulse 2. He's going to be coming in minus 3 charge on his special by himself, so if you have Luna as your special, it is charged immediately with no help. This is going to be very easy to create a team where you have any kind of special that you want already charged. Mm, that right being about said, mm. Navar, his stats are bad, so he's going to be reliant on the special to do good damage, and I don't want to say great, but I think good, and I think that's why it's hard to evaluate how strong he's going to be, because 
he's going to be reliant on the special to do damage. However, I mean, look at it. He's going to get his special off easily, with ease. So it will. I think it will remain to be seen how good he gets with this. But I certainly would love to play around with it if I were going to build in the bar, because this looks like a lot of fun to use. Uh, you know, you, I'm picturing you throwing special spiral on this, and you can yeah, just keep chaining out things like crazy. Say. I mean, you're talking about Lunas all the time, all day, always charged. Well, I'm looking at his stats. It would appear that Luna probably would be the best choice, because his base attack is 31, and his uh, death res is 23 and 24. So uh, unless there's something that gives bonuses to speed and HP somewhere down the line, I think that Luna was probably the best choices that you've got with, within it. Yeah, I think he will be a very interesting one to see whether he becomes very good, a great unit, or if he's just, you know, playable now. And I instead think, of being an awful I think unit... I he'd just be playable. I mean, it's still on a melee unit. It's not like Ophelia kind of crazy. Not to mention, I mean, he can't merge. He's a grand hero battle unit, so he doesn't get IVs. So he's got a lot that's stacked against him, but at least it'll give him something fun to mess with. But I don't know about using special spiral on the dude. Especially <laughs> hey, we got Ophelia. the wind banner coming up, so... Yeah, with Ophelia coming up, I don't know. I, I would rather use that same banner to slap it yeah. onto Ophelia. Yeah, exactly. So to some, mm. I would say his his is definitely one of the best in terms of just the, the weapon itself looking at it. But, you know, he still has a lot of issues as a unit. So uh, I think he's I think he'll be better, but he's not going to be amazing. Yeah. All right. Now, why don't we take a look at the White Wings now? As he orders, Paula's the next one. And Paula has this fun thing where if the unit has weapon triangle advantage, yeah, 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 it's a ruby sword. Now, at the number of flying allies near your space, you get three to all stats. And if the unit initiate attacks, unit attacks twice! So a ruby weapon that doubles as a brave weapon, on top of 16 might. Now, I... I don't know if I want to be any. I don't want to be a green unit around this horrible thing anymore because it sounds really painful. It, it sounds really yeah. Really painful. I think this is. I don't know. I don't know if it's the best. If you're if you're you know when you're whale tier and you need the armored one, we'll get to Est in a second. But um, yeah, this is this is very strong. R Ruby weapons have their downsides, and this there's no exception here. But. To get hit by a brave ruby weapon is very painful, um, and you know there might happen to be a brand new power creep unit uh, named um, something that rhymes with murder that uh, has wary fighter that you can now maybe get around that and and um, hit him twice, <laughs> tear him to shreds. So you know the the main issue with this, and I guess we can just discuss this for all three because all three of these have the same green forge part on their. Uh, on their weapon, the condition you have to meet to get this um, is tough with the two spaces. Now, I haven't confirmed this, but reading the language the way it's written, it looks like the only the attack speed defense res plus part is tied to the condition. If that's the case, this is a lot better than if you need to have the two unit, two flying units near you to get the brave effect. Someone can probably confirm that too. Yeah, I still feel like though that it might it's too strong by itself, but you're you're probably right. No, oh, then again, it needs to be confirmed. Because initiating, if you have to initiate and have two fl other flyers around you, that's that can be very. But difficult. yeah, the, it, according to the wording, it just says if unit initiates combat. So I mean, right? It's, but I don't trust their their wording with yeah, things. That's so. true. That's true. In the case that this works, the brave effect works. Just if you initiate, they get brave. Then this is. Hey, wait, These are all I've got an idea. You have any white wings that are ready to <laughs> I use? do. I, I, I don't know how many. Let me check how much you do I have. I, I have enough. I have enough. That's why I'm, I might do it myself right now, just to find out. So, I'll just do it right now. I'll just do it to Katria, because Katria is who we're going to talk about next. Now, let me just hop on real quick and... We probably... I bet you there's someone somewhere that has already... Talked about it on the I, video, I, I'm going to do it with Katria anyway, so I'm just going to do it now. Now! Hmm! It's good, and it's good sound. Alright, so there's no flyer units nearby Katria right now. Yes, and understood. I'm just flying in with Kat Katria with her white wing lance ready. 
and I got hit. And now I'm gonna fly in and try to. You got it. Nope, you cannot do a brave attack without without a fly flyer allies. You need a flyer ally. Okay. See, this is why I don't trust their goddamn language because it's not written that way. And I suspected because w when you don't have that condition and you can just be four to adds brave, um, that's really, 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 really good. So this forge is still good, um, but this is going to very seriously limit the teams that you can run her with. If if it, if the brave worked without needing the two flyers, you, you could just forget about the attack speed defense res plus three, and you could just go and do whatever. But you really have to run a team of flyers, and even then, you need to set up almost like you know the way they function, the triangle attack. You need to set up to make this work. The payoff is there, though. This is still a very, very powerful ability. I do have a way to make that happen. I will make that video very soon. I'm, I've just been kind of busy, but yeah, I, I will, I will do that soon because do I. Do you actually... have an Eastern Standard Time built up? No, I, I, I have other flyers. Anyway, let me turn this recording thing off. But yeah, I, I have, I have other flyers. I, I can do this. But anyway, let's go, let's go back in subject here. So. As I've just looked at Katria, Katria is actually rather underwhelming compared to the yep. others. Like, what the hell is this? Accelerate special trigger is the only thing she's got. And then, I mean, she does get a brave. I suppose there are a couple ways we can work with this. It, it, it will definitely work well with with gale force and heavy blade it'll definitely work yeah well actually that. i would i don't even know about heavy blade she's got the speed i think i would rather go with flashing blade here but yes yeah. if you can get a blade no you can't use blade flashing effect. blade you can't use flashing blade uh liars can't use oh flashing you're right blade. that's right i'm still used to uh what's it called um uh i understand Kaida and, uh, i understand and, uh, but yeah, yeah she yeah. can no you're right so but heavy i don't know if heavy blade's gonna work on her, her attack well, it's... I mean, she st does get attack speed, dev res plus three, and she has to be near a flyer. And what does flyers usually carry? Mm, gold flyer, mm, delicious. She's gonna, she's gonna be able to do it. It won't be a problem. But I may have to pick I a guess. plus attack I mean, version of her though, because of this. Gonna have to pick I, a plus attack. I feel like speed. compared to Ogma and his heavy blade thing, she's gonna have more issues. But um, you know, I mean, I still think. This one, like you were saying, is more underwhelming. It's the the, the accelerate yeah, special I mean, doesn't, it compared doesn't to, innately work compared to that just now. Yeah, but well, I mean, like she still gets like seven to attack and speed, and that one cooldown could be useful for gale force in units that you can't quad like that. So like with worry fighter. So what we could do is we can just activate gale force and perform some other nasty disgusting tricks but this thing has to be near a flyer so you have to be near a bunch of gold flyer flyers who can provide such a bonus but yeah with just one no, flyer right. with gold it's already seven seven and the other thing is when i was saying this one's underwhelming i mean just the forge because of the three maybe you can argue s depending on the meta but catra is probably the best of the three just as a unit she was already pretty decent so she didn't need an insane uh, amazing forge to, to do good she was already pretty good so she didn't need something crazy she's still gonna be great with this thing so uh, she's still a good unit don't uh it, just because her forge is a little underwhelming doesn't mean she's bad now oh yeah no no i'm not saying that i, I still feel like i could probably do something with the minus one as well i i think among all these i, I think e even catria could be very good but i think the boss of this is still probably going to be est with her brave brave armor smashing ways that mm -hmm. this is one that i'm going to go out of my way to go out of your I way swear. to do it oh my god you disgust me to know and and you're absolutely correct that is something one should go out this of is way worth to do. doing and if you're facing armors all the time yeah a brave and we <laughs> i think on our other video we're like she might get brave armor effectiveness well yeah she did get brave armor i know i must have i have my brains i can see the future because i I just said it because I thought it sounded funny, and you know what? That's what she does anyway, because of her high attack. Now look, now look what happened. She's making me yeah. want to go and give her death blow four. Yeah, I this forge is going to be so good in our meta that I may completely rebuild my plus ten S two is built for Burkut Lance and double brazen attack res. You, you, you build her like that? Oh god! I still yeah, just, she got forty I, I still res and then with her attack because her attack's so high. 
Yeah, she's got she's got like seventy attack and sixty something res when Brazen's active. But um, you know that was useful for tanking dragons. But I could also just put the the forge on her and have two different builds and just send them okay, straight gonna... to the grave. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is great. You know, I love it. Going to be fantastic. I'm probably gonna forge hers. I don't know if I'll do Ogma first or not or hers, but yeah, this one again. If you're not fighting armors, you know, okay, it's. It's still decent. It's a brave effect, but when you're fighting armors, this is going to be insane. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I I built a Claire, so I should know. I have Claire, and now I'm feeling like, damn it, <laughs> why? Well, Claire still has her ways because of her flash. And she's not going to require really setup in order to, mm-hmm. you know do what she That's can do. True. You just put the desperation on her and she's got the flashing blade built That's true. in. And, she does need a which bit is of where she does need a bit Katria. of a yeah. She just need to actually get a setup in order to do the brave attack. But yeah. once it's done, it is very scary. It it scares the piss out of me. That is so deadly. My god, dude. So if we're gonna rank the three, if you care about armors, S is the best, then I think in terms of just the forge, not as units with them, but just looking at the forges, S is the best care about armors, followed by Pala, then Katria. If you don't care about armors, I actually think the uh, Pala is actually the strongest, followed by S, and then uh Well, I mean, it depends. I mean, if your color doesn't quite play out, then you <laughs> you, you have a wasted slot. But yes, I, I understand. Usually there's going to be a you know green unit there. I mean, and look at uh, the... the yeah, Green Meta is fairly common green. these days. So, who do we got next? Well, we have the Twin Robins. Let's take a look at the Male Robin first, with Tactical Bolt. So this thing grants Weapon Triangle Advantage against Colorless Foes, yeah, yeah, it's Raven. And then, at the start of turn, gain attack, speed, res, there are your allies within two space for one turn! Hey, guess what? We just paired up! Granted only if the number, if that ally in your movement type when current team is. Less than two. Mm, so, so spectrum tactic. Spectrum tactics. It's kind of interesting. I, that is a very tactical thing to do. But you know, at the very least, we don't have to worry about using the C slot of other characters. So hey, our poor buddy, like um, our p- poor buddy, like Surter, doesn't have to give up his Surter's menace. Not that he would anyway. Our poor buddy Hector doesn't have to give up his Ostian thing for his C slot. Not that they would anyway, but you know what I mean. Now that now a bunch of people who has strong C slots can just be like, oh yeah, <laughs> Robin will take care of me, no problem. Instead of say, oh you have to use up your C slot and your seal slots to have like dedicated tactics users. However, the paid off is that you get well four rather than six. So is that yes. worth it to you? You think that too? that is the deep like I think this is an interesting and flavorful forge. But the biggest downside of it is, right, the people that want to run tactics teams, they want to run the tactics skills, meaning they want to run the plus six ones. And, you know, so you're you're not going to be benefiting as much if you, you, if you run any other tactics with this. Now, granted, I think anyone lacking speed tactic and don't want to give up their limbs, um, you could probably just do like a defense and res tactics as, and then use him to give attack speed plus four and not have to you know use all your c slots but if you're if you're trying to min max a tactic team this is not going to be ideal but you get a lot of bang for your buck on just having a single unit do plus four to all of them without having to use tactics on your c slots so i think it can be built to your advantage but it's not going to be that amazing and like if you're dedicated tactic teaming this is not you're not going to want rob that's mm, unfortunate i was really hoping for something a little more Interesting. I mean, it does work with the fact that it's tactical, but it's just not so interesting. It's not so powerful. It makes him feel mediocre. Yeah, I think he's going to be... He's still going to be good, but he's going to have a very niche role. It's going to be, you're going to want to use him as a TA Raven Tome Mage that can counter the, you know, the Beelin and whatever uh, red things you hate, and then throw him on a tactic team where you're not already running tons of attack defense speed and res tactics and just gain that effect by having one unit on the team that in that scenario he's going to shine but that that's really it um but again he robin's attack stats are are weird i think this does help him have a a niche so i think you can you can find a good use for him but i don't think this is going to put him over the top or make him insane right i wouldn't do i wouldn't use it for for that reason either because 
I'd probably just give them stats. I don't know. I mean, tactics. When you run tactics, you want the six. The four is just too too little. You don't set up a team just to get a four. That's it's so easy to get with all your other units. I just don't like it. Bitch. But do you have speed tactics available to give away? Unfortunately, yes. I've been sacrificing my legendary lins because I didn't. Don't think I'm gonna be so. Yeah, anyway. it's budget. I <laughs> but mean, yes, you're right. I speed, mean, like, look, and if they make all of the tactics very easy to inherit and stuff, then this is just gonna not be that great at all. But some of them, like, look, attack tactic being demoted into four stars. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have a, a plus six attack all over the place. But something like speed tactic and defense tactic, res is. I think you have to promote Larishel or whatever. But um, defense tactic, I think those ones that are limited. They also come in seals too. Yeah, exactly. Speed tactic is the big one that's just not around easily. And I, I don't want to give up my lens, even though, what, you know, I think I gave up one of my two, and I didn't feel I good. I gave up, like, three. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so bad, um, I know. I think the, the same, there's not that much, I think the, let's see, Robin, the female Robins is the same exact. Yeah, it's the same exact thing, I just looked at it. She just has slightly different stats, I guess, or, or do they have identical stats? I mean, Pretty much identical, one just doesn't have IVs. They're, they're good, they are good units for the Raven Dome. They've got, you know, some pretty decently balanced defenses. So, yeah. you know, they're gonna, they're gonna yeah. be able to combat well if you give them the TA Raven Dome build. Um, but it's just that the tactic part of it feels a little underwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I guess it wouldn't be too, it would be a little bit kind of overpowered otherwise either. But then again, I'm looking at like... Well, then again, Odin really needed it. Odin needed it bad. But yes, Odin giving six to all stats was really cool. I, I really liked that about him. But yeah, you're... you're I, I forged him, and uh, I didn't merge him to plus ten, but I use him regularly to repo stuff and uh, blade... There you go. Because I, um, I got the other link on his beast slot. He's a monster. I mean... If that thing could be bladed, that would be nice. I mean, if, if it's a blade tome, then you can have like four to all stats that you can keep generating for yourself just by being there. That would be nice, but it's a raven tome, so. Yep. Anyway, and with that, we've covered all the weapons. We've got all a bit of a tangent, but I think that we iron out all the details. I think we can end with that. You have anything else to add before we go? I'm um, just trying to looking at them again. I, I mean, none of these are terrible. Um, I think that they're they're all viable, and uh, if you if you have, I, I I honestly think the biggest beneficiary here, the, the two are probably Est and Ogma. Mm. If you're fighting yeah, armors, I, I, I think Ogma is just going to be very that. strong now. Yeah, I can so, buy that. Ogmas, oh, those would be my, my recommendations on if you have these units and you like them and who you have to pick, those would be the two that I would go with. Alright, and with that, let us end with today's programming. I thank you all for watching. Until next time.